trimethylglycine, or betine, may lower homocysteine levels. It's being researched for improving heart health and exercise performance. Trimethylglycine is a compound found in beetroot and other plants and animal foods. It was originally known as betine because it was first discovered in sugar beets. However, trimethylglycine is one of the many betines that have since been identified. Scientists are investigating whether trimethylglycine can protect cells from stress and act as a source of metal groups. Trimethylglycine is also known as betine, glycine betine, lysine and oxynurin. People consume trimethylglycine normally in their diet, though supplements are available. Trimethylglycine is also produced by the body from choline. Betine hydrochloride is made from betine, which is trimethylglycine, and hydrochloric acid. It's a supplement that can help to increase stomach acid. Trimethylglycine has many purported health benefits. Some brands claim that it protects the liver, the heart and the kidneys and can enhance physical performance. In the body, trimethylglycine can donate one of its metal groups to homocysteine. Metal groups are three hydrogen atoms bonded to carbon. This turns homocysteine back into methionine, which theoretically prevents homocysteine levels from getting too high. High homocysteine levels in the blood are a risk factor for heart disease. Limited evidence suggests that trimethylglycine supplements and dietary intake can lower homocysteine levels, which may potentially then protect the heart. Additionally, by donating a metal group, scientists think that trimethylglycine may help produce SAME and protect against oxidative stress with its antioxidant effects. Researchers call trimethylglycine an osmolite or an osmoprotectant, which means that it can keep cells hydrated and increase stress resilience. In lab settings, it can stabilise proteins and membranes when environmental conditions are bad, such as drought, low temperature and high salt levels. A couple of studies suggest that trimethylglycine helps cells to adapt to stress. It may protect against premature programmed cell death, which is known as apoptosis. Trimethylglycine cell hydration and protection may improve glucose breakdown and lactate productivity, which might result in greater energy production during exercise. Researchers believe that trimethylglycine might protect the cells and increase their energy production by its hydrating osmolite action. Trimethylglycine may increase blood levels of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide widens blood vessels and increases muscle blood flow during short-term exercise. An increase in muscle blood flow can improve exercise performance by increasing nutrient delivery and waste excretion. Homocystinuria is an inherited genetic disorder of methionine metabolism that results in high homocysteine levels in the urine. Anhydrous betine or trimethylglycine is FDA approved for reducing urine homocysteine in people with this type of disorder. According to one study, it lowers blood homocysteine levels by 20 to 30 percent in several types of homocystinuria. Trimethylglycine's osmolite properties may protect the mouth from chemical and other mouth irritants. Toothpaste that contains trimethylglycine reduced dry mouth symptoms in a study of 45 individuals. The patients reported less lip dryness and difficulty eating. Another supplement that can help with dry mouth is coenzyme Q10. You can see my two videos on that for more information. A high blood homocysteine level is a risk factor for heart disease. Limited evidence suggests that trimethylglycine supplementation lowers homocysteine levels in the blood, and this can potentially protect the heart. In a review of 74 clinical trials, high choline and trimethylglycine intake were associated with lower blood inflammatory markers. Because choline is a precursor 
of trimethylglycine, increased choline intake can lead to higher trimethylglycine blood levels. Trimethylglycine then lowers homocysteine, which improves the mitochondrial membrane and protects cells from oxidative stress and inflammation. Trimethylglycine is a common ingredient in workout supplements. Studies indicate that trimethylglycine supplementation to improve physique may help only when combined with exercise. In a meta-analysis of seven randomised controlled trials, two studies reported increase in power and strength. The authors concluded that additional studies are necessary to evaluate its effectiveness. In two other studies of active men, trimethylglycine supplementation increased total repetitions during exercise. Besides increasing strength, trimethylglycine might improve endurance and reduce fatigue. In a double-blind randomised controlled study of 22 experienced strength-trained men, long-term trimethylglycine supplementation during an exercise training programme of six weeks improved body composition. The men had significant increase in lean mass and decrease in body fat. In another randomised controlled trial of 12 men, trimethylglycine supplementation, along with exercise session, decreased cortisol levels. It also increased blood growth hormone, which helps muscle protein synthesis. This caused their lean mass to increase. Trimethylglycine blood levels are associated with better insulin sensitivity. Individuals with lower trimethylglycine levels are more likely to have insulin resistance. In a randomised control trial of 3,000 individuals, those with lower trimethylglycine levels were more likely to have diabetes. After two years of lifestyle changes, higher trimethylglycine levels were associated with lower diabetes rates. In mice, trimethylglycine supplementation improves glucose tolerance, maintains glucose balance, improves insulin sensitivity. Clinical trials are needed to determine the effectiveness and the safety of trimethylglycine in people with diabetes and insulin resistance, but animal results look promising. In a meta-analysis of 14 trials, high trimethylglycine and choline composition contributed to cancer prevention and lowered the risk of developing cancer. The authors of the study emphasised that further studies would be needed to verify these results. In another study of 1,500 breast cancer patients, a higher dietary intake of trimethylglycine was associated with fewer deaths from cancer. Trimethylglycine increases S adenosyl methionine, or SAME, which helps the production of serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. Neurotransmitter balance supports good mental health. In 45 depressed patients who responded poorly to antidepressants, SAME and trimethylglycine used as add-ons to conventional treatment for 90 days improved symptoms like anxiety and feelings of helplessness and worthlessness. Trimethylglycine administration in depressed rats changed their behaviour. It helped to increase serotonin and norepinephrine levels in rats' brains, and it had an antidepressant effect on them. In a double-blind, randomised controlled trial of 193 seniors, cobalamin supplementation increased trimethylglycine blood levels. This increase in trimethylglycine was then associated with better reaction time, memory and brain function. Additionally, the participants with the largest increase in trimethylglycine levels had the greatest memory improvement. According to one theory, children with autism spectrum disorder have abnormal methionine cycles. The methionine cycle helps with blood vessel formation and other biological pathways. Abnormal methionine cycles can cause cognitive disorders. However, the methionine autism theory is controversial and remains unproven. 
Some researchers believe that autistic children do not have high enough levels of the byproducts that are needed for the cycle and are also vulnerable to oxidative stress. In autistic children, trimethylglycine and choline deficiency contribute to low methionine and SAME levels, which can cause abnormal gene expression. Although scientists are unsure if trimethylglycine supplementation affects SAME levels in autistic children, studies of healthy participants have shown that trimethylglycine can increase SAME. Oral supplementation with folinic acid and trimethylglycine normalised the methionine cycle in a small study of autistic children. Trimethylglycine also increased antioxidant levels, which helps protect against the oxidative damage. In 21 healthy subjects, trimethylglycine relieved the skin irritating effects caused by detergents and decreased allergic responses. Trimethylglycine's osmolite properties increase skin hydration and improve skin barrier. Also, by acting as a metal donor, it protects the cells from detergent attacks. When trimethylglycine donates a metal group, it helps produce S-adenosylmethionine, or SAME, which is an antioxidant. Trimethylglycine also increases glutathione, another powerful antioxidant. In rats, trimethylglycine pre-treatment reduced oxidative damage due to stress. Trimethylglycine is being researched for improving non-alcoholic and alcoholic liver injuries. In the liver, trimethylglycine helps process methionine to produce S-adenosylmethionine, which helps to lower inflammation. It can also help decrease liver cell death. In mice, trimethylglycine improved liver health by decreasing insulin resistance in the liver, by reducing fat buildup in the liver by increasing the activation of liver AMPK to help with glucose and fat balance, by preventing alcohol-induced inflammation and stress, by protecting the liver from toxins like chloroform, and by protecting the liver cells from bile-induced apoptosis. In the kidneys, trimethylglycine's main role is making sure the cells stay hydrated. During cellular stress, it preserves cell volume without changing cell functions. In mice, trimethylglycine supplementation lowered high uric acid levels, protecting the kidney from injury. Additionally, trimethylglycine treatment protected rat kidneys from CCL4 induced toxicity. CCL4 can cause kidney death due to cirrhosis. Shampoos and other hair products can harm cells through osmotic stress. Since trimethylglycine is an osmolite, it may help keep hair cells hydrated and protect against environmental damage. Shampoos with trimethylglycine protected hair protein structure. The effects of trimethylglycine on bone health in humans are unknown. Scientists are currently investigating trimethylglycine in human bone cells. Trimethylglycine may activate pathways that increase osteoblast cell formation. Osteoblasts are the cells that increase new bone formation. Some side effects from taking too much trimethylglycine can be agitation, irritability, sleep disturbances, diarrhea, vomiting, nausea and hair loss. In a review of four studies, trimethylglycine supplementation increased LDL or bad cholesterol in healthy individuals. These effects were present after two weeks of six grams a day of trimethylglycine supplementation. Trimethylglycine doses under six grams may also increase LDL and triglyceride levels. In another study of 42 obese subjects, daily supplementation of six grams of trimethylglycine increased LDL and total cholesterol. A normal dietary intake of trimethylglycine from food is half a gram to two grams per day. 
trimethylglycine supplement doses used in clinical trials range from 2.5 grams to 6 grams per day. Although some studies suggest it's safe to take 9 to 12 grams per day, even lower trimethylglycine doses increase blood lipids. Therefore, a safe trimethylglycine dose cannot be established. Limited human studies suggest that 2.5 grams per day of trimethylglycine is needed to increase blood trimethylglycine levels. Trimethylglycine increases the expression of genes that help with bone formation. In human bone cells, trimethylglycine increased RUNX2, OSX and SOD2 gene expression. This increases the production of proteins that increase bone formation and protects against bone cell stress.